Hey, what is up guys? This is Ram Overload here and today I'm going to be talking to you about CCleaner. What that is and for those of you that already know what it is, whether it is still useful in 2022. Okay, so you know, we're starting off the year it's good and we want to see if CCleaner is, you know, if if it's still worth having on your computer in 2022. You know, there's a lot of other softwares out there. Windows has been upgraded quite a bit to, you know, include a lot of the features, not a lot, some of the features that CCleaner has built in. So let's just get started and see whether it's still worth it or not. So if for those of you that don't have CCleaner, you just want to go to ccleaner.com and just download it, the free trial. So download and they'll tell you to install and install it. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it again. Um, but yeah, you go ahead, do that. And once it's installed, um, you'll see this application over here, something similar. And over here, you can see that I have a, w a Windows 11 system, 64 bit. This is my CPU and uh, the rest of the stuff. So, so let's just go over a quick overview of what it includes, um, you know, and basically what you can do with it. So CCleaner basically is a program which cleans your computer in a sense. Okay, you know, you might have a lot of unwanted files, a lot of uh, cookies and cache items in your browser, you know, just a lot of different things that you don't really need. You know, you probably visited a website once in your life and then that data is stored on your computer. Okay, so you don't really need that data anymore. You can get rid of it. So we can just do start. It'll just automatically just get everything. And it, obviously it will consult you before deleting anything. But, you know, you can do start to analyze, um, to start to analyze. So that's the health check. Custom clean, you know, you can choose custom on what exactly you want to clean. And in my opinion, uh, most of these things are needed to be clean. Okay. Here on the left hand side, you can see these are the different application um, that have some kind of temporary data or anything that can be deleted. Okay, so, you know, we have Microsoft Edge, Chromium, Internet Explorer. Um, these are the Windows app things and these are different applications. So, you know, if you have Firefox, Chrome, Spotify, and, you know, your list might be different depending on which applications you have installed. But basically, these are all of it. Okay, so next is the driver updated. This just checks if, um, you know, there's any drivers on that's connected to your PC that um, are available for you to install. So th that's that comes in useful when you install something new and, you know, it doesn't automatically find the driver to be able to run it. So this can be useful. I haven't personally tried this myself where a driver wasn't found somewhere and then C cleaner found it, so I'm not too 100% sure about this. Okay, next one is registry. So registry is um, it just scans for issues on the registry. Um, it, every time I did it, it finds issues, but I don't know the difference that it makes, so I'm not sure how big of a difference this actually plays in uh, you know the performance of your computer or anything with that. And after that, you know, tools, if you want to uninstall anything, software updates, startup. So startup is another good one. So these are the applications that I have that start up. Um, well, that are available to be started up when I start up my computer. So, you know, obviously, if your computer goes really slow, then, you know, you might want to remove a lot of them. So you can see over here, most of mine are in disabled and only a few are enabled over here. So these are the ones that are that do start up. So you want to make sure what you disable. Uh, you just don't want to disable everything because that's not going to be good. Um, so, for example, you know, something like the Netgear one, uh, you probably need it to connect to your Wi-Fi. So that one you want to make sure. So now let's go back to custom clean or let's go health check. So let's start that up. Um, programs that need to be closed. So in order for it to clear out the cache and everything, it needs the programs to be closed. I have this open and, you know, I have a lot of things, other tabs open on my other windows. So I'll just uh, skip that because I, I don't want to close it, especially right now. 
So just wait a couple seconds. Um, you know, there are pro features, which you know you could do if you want. So now you can see over here, I have 510 trackers that can be removed and I have almost 2.5 gigs of memory that can be cleaned out. So now let's do that, patching up your PC. So let's just, this shouldn't really take that long, maybe definitely should be less than a minute or so. Um, let's just wait it out. So let me just pause the video and I'll play it when it is done. Okay, so it's done. Now you can see your PC is feeling good now. Make it uh, feel like a Superstar with Pro. So you can see over here space, it removed 2.5 gigs. If I do it, um, it'll clean out your recycle bin. Probably that's where most of my space was in. Um, and then all of these um, can be removed as well. So same thing with privacy, cookies, history, temporary files. Um, you can select to remove those as well. So overall, I think this is a pretty good application. You know, even in 2022, um, you know, if you guys are using CCleaner, I've seen articles and posts where people are, and videos where people are like, you know, CCleaner is really old. There's no use for that anymore nowadays. And I highly disagree with that. Okay, um, CCleaner is still useful. You know, it's just like a two a couple of clicks. You know, you just do analyze and then uh, pretty much run or clean, and that's pretty much it. And it'll clean basically everything and you know it's fairly quick and easy to use so in my opinion this gets a thumbs up you know definitely useful for everyone to have on their computer so yeah if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and comment you know um i'd love to hear your feedback if you use another application for cleaning up your computer let me know what it is you know i'll take a look at that and do maybe do a review on it so other than that peace out